Hello ladies and welcome back to Jump Talk with me, Sarah Brittany. And today I got the bun. I got the bun today. It's so it kind of wilted. And the little uh <laughs> my little butterfly. But yeah, my bun wilted today. But I do have the bun going because it's hot today, darlings. Just way too hot for the hair. And the eyelashes and I don't know. So, I got rid of all of my cigar boxes. As you well know, I should have done a video. If not, I don't know. I, I thought I had put it up. I did a video on how I stored my jewelry. And I was putting them in jewelry boxes. The jewelry boxes, sorry, cigar boxes. And I was just having a big old problem with these cigar boxes. I mean, they get overstuffed. The cigar boxes kept ripping in half because my jewelry was just overflowing in them because there's just not a room in those cigar boxes. And so they don't last forever. So I have I had to keep buying them. And the people that sell them, which are cigar shops, are um, greedy and they will they get the boxes for free, of course, you know what I mean, because they buy the cigars. And they go in and they know that people buy cigar boxes and they go and sell them. And sometimes they're like 5 or $6 for one cigar box and I'm like, no. No! Because, I mean, the, my cigar boxes keep breaking, they keep ripping. So these are just a pain in the ass. So I'm like, forget it. I am just going to buy my plastic bins because I'm like, just buy the black plastic buy the plastic bins buy the plastic bins and I went to you can go anywhere you can go to Target you can go to Walmart you can go online you can go to I went to Big Lots and I just bought the oh girl there's something rolling in I bought five of these dude dudes five of these guys and they are 16 and 3 quarters length by 11 and 7 8 width by 7 height that is the one that I use for mine and I did buy five so I put all of my jewelry in this box and I ax ax I cannot talk today I absolutely love it because it is not a cigar box first of all I had like 10 cigar boxes it was just a pain in the ass because it would and they First of all, they weren't securely closed like this is, you know what I mean? Like, this is securely closed. The cigar boxes aren't. They're smaller. You can't put as much stuff, so you collect, collect, collect cigar boxes. I had way too many. And if you have a lot of jewelry, it's just better to put it... It just makes more sense to put it in this. And then that way, you have, like, you can... Um, one of your boxes can be your necklaces. One can be for your rings. And one can be for your bracelets. And then you can have a, I have like a whole box designated to just my pearls. So I got, yeah, I have like five boxes, four or five of them. So I got my ring box just for my rings, one for just my pearls, one for just my necklaces, and one for my bracelets. And you can fill this up for a long time. I mean, I mean, I don't have that much stuff. This is a necklace box. So of course I have my necklaces in this box, but this is my new favorite best way to store my jewelry. Of course you can always get smaller boxes, you don't need giant ones like this. I just have that because I have a lot of jewelry. So if you don't have as much, you can get smaller ones. And they're just a great, they're just better than cigar boxes, they're better than I feel it's the for me right now at this moment in time this is the best way to store your jewelry because as you guys know I hate jewelry boxes you think I like jewelry boxes because I love my jewelry but no no I can't stand jewelry boxes the only jewelry box I have is my stackers and that's mostly because I have my Pandora in it I don't have my Pandora like in these because, I mean, there's too many little charms and Pandora needs to hurry up and get with the program and sell a jewelry box all the time. So I don't have to go and buy stackers because stackers is you located in the UK. But um, what you do is you just take all of your nice pieces of jewelry, ladies, and you don't want to just throw them in here. You know what I mean? Like, I threw mine in here, but what you want to do... 
Um, put them individually in a bag, in a plastic bag. You can put them in velvet pouches if you wish. I would suggest if you have pearls, put your um, buy velvet pouches, nice ones, and put your pearls in velvet pouches. Do not put your pearls in plastic bags. Pearls need air. They need to breathe. So um, I know that sounds weird, but they, they just need more airflow. And so I would totally don't suggest, just totally not suggest putting your pearls in plastic bags. Please put your pearls in velvet pouches and whatnot so there's room for breathing air, room, any, I think, I just feel like it's good with pearls. You can do it with your porous stones like turquoise and like maybe coral, but pearls are a definite. Like everything else, like I have, pearl, I have my coral in a plastic bag, but um, put everything in a plastic baggie. I prefer the plastic bags, like I said, that is because you can put them all in velvet pouches if you wish. But the reason I do the plastic baggies is because when you go and look for a piece of jewelry, if you got them in velvet pouches, you got to open up every single velvet pouch. If you got your plastic baggies, you know exactly what piece that is. So, for an example, this is my black onyx and sterling piece. And then I also got, you know, like I have a turquoise piece here. I have my like just every that way you can see what you got and that way it, do it individually in each piece of jewelry some I have doubled up which is dumb because don't listen don't, don't pretend you didn't see that but um yeah so that's what you do don't let your jewelry just pile and pile on each other because if you have stones even just the silver in general the silver is going to scratch other silver or stones are going to scratch other stones and you guys I know Personally, nobody wants scratched up nasty jewelry. So, keep your jewelry. This is, I'm just telling you, this is my number. Like, this is how I keep my stuff. And I really think this is a great idea, like I said, because I hate jewelry boxes in general. First of all, the reason why I hate jewelry boxes is because, like I said in um, previous videos, people see that. People see a jewelry box. What if you have a party one day? What if you just have people over or somebody just happens to break into your house one day? I'm super paranoid about my jewelry because it takes a long time to collect your jewelry. And there are pieces that cannot be replaced in your jewelry as well. I'm sure you ladies have some gorgeous pieces in your jewelry on wall that have that are just pieces that you can never replace because they're one of a kind the pieces have meaning you got them somewhere special you got them you know what i mean like i have a lot of pieces like that i could never get back again so i am paranoid and i need to like keep my jewelry first of all not in a jewelry box because it's a pain in the ass and jewelry boxes are tiny Jewelry boxes, I meant, I feel, are only meant for your everyday pieces that you wear like all the time. Like I wear my hoops every day. If you wear your wedding rings every day, or a pair of earrings, just stuff you wear every day. But your nice pieces that you know, they're not your everyday pieces. Definitely put them in here. This is the best way ever for right now for me especially to do that. Because like I said, people see a jewelry box and they automatically know there's jewelry in it. They're gonna want to steal stuff in it. They're gonna, you know what I mean? The jewelry box is like, it's just like. Oh, a jewelry box. They know that jewelry is anything. They know there could be expensive shit in there. And I don't want people knowing that. So what I do is I put them in here. Not just for that purposes, but just because I have so much crap and I put it in here. And then I hide it. Hide it somewhere where um, somebody's not going to think to look right away. They're going to have to dig and really look in your house for, for shit, for your stuff. You know what I mean? Like, put it in deep 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 in your damn closet where no one can find it put it under the bed put it somewhere where just somebody's not gonna come and think to look at first like when they walk into a room the cup the first things they're gonna see is like a jewelry box you know what I mean because it's sitting out um, so I hide my stuff sometimes when I leave my house I hide my jewelry just in under things in things just hide it but that's me I'm really paranoid if I was rich and had a lot of jewelry I'd have like I'd, it'd be like, hey, it'd be like uh, Mission Impossible to get to my damn jewelry. I'd have fingerprint scanners. I'd have vaults. I'd have guard dogs waiting at the door. I'd have, no. Because if I was rich, I'd have some money in my damn jewelry. Because I, right now, all these famous, all these like famous people in California right now, they're all getting hit up. Like, I don't know. There's some kind of like, someone's behind all this. They are 
they are hitting up everybody's like house, all the famous people, and they're stealing all the jewelry. And it's a bunch of famous people keep getting hit up. So, and they're like, oh, they took twenty thousand dollars in jewelry. They took a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. I'm like, that's it. That's it. Damn, if they got, if I was rich and they got into my house, they'd hit the landmine. They, they would hit the lottery because they would have a couple million in just like one piece or two pieces. Because I'd have some nice ass jewelry made. That's what I mean. But like I said, new way I put in my jewelry. Best way I think you can get smaller boxes. You don't have to keep them big and giant like this. Um, but plastic bins you can get anywhere. Walmart, Ross, Target, anywhere online. But um, you can even go to the, I think they have something called the container store. But they're probably really expensive. These were like $4.00. And they're way better than a than a cigar box because the one cigar box wasn't even lasting because my jewelry was like breaking it and it was just stupid. So brand new, way, not brand new, but my new way. It's just a lot. Ooh, my my hoop. Um, it's more organized. It's less clutter and it's just nicer. So I totally recommend that you do that with your jewelry if you do have pieces. It doesn't even even if you have like a little bit, just put it in one little box. Just just do it. So that is it. That is all. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my Facebook, and my second vlog channel, which I'm going to try to do a video on. I think I'm going to do a video on like my some of my favorite products that I use on an everyday basis. But yeah. Mm. So, I'll see you ladies later. And remember, never ever let anybody dull your sparkle and stay sparkling and always Michael. I don't know why I'm just 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 be beautiful be the queen and the queens that you are ladies because you're a queen you're a diva and don't let anybody tell you otherwise so bye